in the next one or two videos we're going to discuss some very commonly used string functions these are library functions which are defined in a header file called as string.h so if you need to use them be sure you include the header file string.h so the first thing before i enter into talking about different functions i need to explain a very common mistake which is made by students so suppose i define name1 as an array of characters with the initial value geu so name1 is geu the array can start at say memory location 100 e at 101 and u at 102 name2 is another array with the same content geu let us say name2 starts at 200 201 and 202 now if it was normal numbers i could say is x equal to y but if I try to do something like this, if I say name 2, this should be name 1, not name 2. If name 2, sorry, if name 1 is equal to name 2, then I can say print names are same. Although the names are same, I if I do something like this, what will happen is, if you remember, the name of array is an address. So name 1 will be replaced by say 100, name 2 will be replaced by 200. Now these two addresses are different. So it will print the message names are different. So you cannot compare an array simply by taking their name. Okay, there is a different way of comparing characters. So you have to go and compare character by character or you got to use a library function called strcmp which is there part of the string.h. So let's take a look at the different library functions we're going to discuss over the next few sessions, next couple of sessions. This stands for string length. So how many characters are there in this three? So string length will give you three. This as the name indicates is going to copy the content of one array of characters to the other. String concatenate. Suppose I have ABC as one string and XYZ as the other one. If I concatenate it will be A, B, C, X, Y and Z. So this is going to form the concatenated or the joined or the merged string. STRCMP as the name stands it indicates for comparing two strings. So using STRCMP I can compare name1 and name2 and then it will say both are equal. Before we proceed to take a look at string length and string copy you need to understand that in C arrays are treated as addresses and so when arrays are passed from the main or the call function to the some other function they are sent they are always sent as a pointer type of a variable so let's first take a look at the library function to copy one string to the other all right so let us say in my first array i got the name i got the data as name one geu second one array i have got name two space dune so if i do string copy name one comma name two so the contents of name two are going to be copied into name one so what is going to happen to name one name one is going to become space dune so the geu is lost and dune gets overwritten into name one so this you can consider as the source this as the destination or the target the copy happens from name two to name one so in place of name two i can also have something called as rocks enter okay so what will happen here is when i do string copy this rocks and enter key is going to get copied into name one. So this rocks and enter key gets copied into name one. Then if you want to take a look at the prototype of the string copy function, this is how the string copy looks like. The first parameter happens to be a pointer type of a data or a pointer to a character. Here if you see name one happens to be a address and since it's a fixed address, that's why it is a pointer to a character type of data. Now since I am going to change name 1, I am going to change this S1, this is not a constant. Whereas the second fellow, this name 2 is defined as a pointer to a character type of data. But you cannot change this contents of name 2 because name 2 is a read only array. You want name 2 to be copied into name 1. So using this particular function, the contents of name 2 or string 2 in this case, are copied over into string 1 and the address of string 1 is uh, returned by this particular string copy. So if I copy geu, sorry if I copy dune 
from name two to name one, what will happen is the address of name one is going to be the return type of this particular function string copy. Now let's take a look at another commonly used function called as string length to find the length of a string. I have defined an array of characters called as name with the initial value gehu. I have defined an unsigned int i and I have said string length of name. So name has got how many characters 1, 2, 3, 4. So string length is going to return an unsigned integer value whose value is going to be 4. So 4 is going to be assigned to i. Now if you want to look at the prototype of string length, the prototype of string length is going to look something like this. String length. Now this name indicates that it's going to be a constant type of a array. That means I cannot change the contents of GEHU. Makes sense. Why would string length want to change? It just wants to find out the length. This constant char indicates that I cannot change any of these alphabets GEHU. The, whereas the pointer, it can be any other address. The important thing is constant char means I can't change GEHU. Similarly here constant char S2, I can't change Dune. It has to be as it is. So it will find the length and it will return. What is this size t? Size t is nothing but it's an unsigned integer type of variable. So size t is an alias for unsigned int defined using type def. You will understand type def when we come across to structures in the next few sessions. So you can think of type def as hash defined. So wherever there is unsigned int i that is replaced with size t. It is like somebody your name could be Rahul, it could also be Bablu and so on. So Bablu and Rahul both are your names. So size t is kind of a Bablu here. Instead of having here unsigned int i, size t is representing unsigned int i. So this size t you can assume has been created using the hash define or type def. So the length of the string is determined by this string length function.